Um, okay, so hello everyone. It's been a long time, I know, um, but I'm hopefully getting a few new videos up. Um, I wanted to show you guys because uh, we see a lot of the slimmer 27 inch um, IMAX in now, and um, you know, we, we take them apart all the time to normally replace the hard drive. Um, this is a quite a rare one because it's come out of the factory with um, just the flash. So what we want to do is add a storage drive. Um, so questions that we've got and we don't know, does, can you just add the drive, i.e. is the cables there or is Apple, Apple taking those cables away? Um, and second question is, will it take a drive of this size? So what we've got here, I'll just open it up, um, is a 10 terabyte Barracuda drive. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to see if it fits in. We've been using our little pizza cutter right here, uh, and we've been cutting, wheeling this around. Any advice, Harrison, for anybody who's not opened one of these and they want to do it from home? Would you say um, definitely go and see an expert? I mean, you can do it, but it is one of those is difficult. Yeah. For sure. Um, for one, you've got to get all rid of all that glue and make sure hundred percent that it's all gone. Hmm. It you should can just buy, be smooth. You can buy the kits online, which will include um, like the the adhesive to stick the screen back down. But you've got to understand that if you make a mistake, it's going to be an expensive mistake. The screens aren't cheap. Okay, so a four a four or five k, depending on the model you got, five uh, k display. It's not going to be a cheap mistake if you make it. Um, and there's plenty of people that have done it. Um, we've been quite lucky. Let's hope nothing else happens here. Um, so we've done we've already done our cutting. Already you can't cut the back here. So the adhesive going along the back, I've got to get my hand in and we're going to do that. But we're going to dis disconnect these cables first. Try to keep this finish. as level as you can. And then there should be, sometimes you peel them off here, this one has it, so you can peel it off. Here. Give it a good peel. Peel. So while you're peeling that off, which I'll make, I'm sure makes for great video entertainment, we do, I can see that there is a place to put the drive I can't at the moment see the cable, so it'll be interesting to see whether or not we've got a cable. So this is where your three and a half inch hard drive would sit. Um, lift up a book, perfect. Okay, so uh, let's have a closer look. So normally we would have a cable that runs through um, from the board, from memory, it runs through the, from this board. So what we're missing is the cable uh, the SATA cable coming from the, the logic board. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna have to uh, get one of those. Luckily enough, we've got one in stock. Uh, so we'll go and get that, and then we can pop this drive in and see if it will recognize a 10 terabyte hard drive. It's a bit unfair that um, Apple haven't included that part of the cable if you've gone for the flash option, because you pay extra for that option anyway. It's coming up, you've inserted a disc that's uh, not readable. This is normal with a, a disc that's not formatted. Uh, so yeah, we can just initialize that disc, which will then open uh, disc utility. And you can quite clearly see it's seen the full 10 terabyte. So let's go ahead and erase that. Um, let's just call that uh, data and press erase. And that will create a new drive. And there we go. So we have our original uh, Macintosh HD drive, which is the one terabyte uh, flash storage. And then we've got a data drive, uh, 10 terabyte, and that's internal, um, which is quite nice to see, I must admit. It's, uh, um, I'm quite blown away by that. So let's have a quick look at the, that drive in action here now. Um, oh, 
all that because we've already done it. Um, okay, so we have data drive and we can put stuff on that if we wanted to. So let's just copy something onto it for a second. There we go. And full copied over, fine. Um, yeah, so I think that's a successful upgrade. And anybody who wants to upgrade their um, iMac 27 inch with a 10 terabyte hard drive, please comment down, down below and uh, let us know your experience. Again, just a word of warning, we've taken these, these iMacs apart quite often. They're quite uh, difficult to do. I don't suggest anybody doing it unless you've got the right tools and you know what you're doing. Um, but anyway, please like and subscribe and uh, yeah, good luck upgrading.